Hi, how are you doing uh, this morning? Uh, so another uh, little quick one. So in keeping with uh, using Excel components, which uh, took a little while to get into some of the uh, capability that we can do with Excel components, uh, this is one where I just want to show how you can import data from something like Excel. So using more or less the same problem, I'm going to keep it fairly simple. And it says draw the future values for a given investment from an existing Excel sheet. We're not going to recreate that and then plot them in MathCAD. And, and so the easiest way to do so, let's say we have a, a variable F that we want to uh, inherit the values from our spreadsheet. So we're going to define it as equal. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to go to our input output tab. And in this case, we're going to read from Excel. So it's not the Excel component. It's a read from Excel. And sorry, that might box opened up off the screen. So let me just uh, put my uh, dialog box where you can see it. And the first thing we have to do then is to browse to the file itself. And so we're going to choose browse beside file name. Now I already have it set up to open there. So within my tutorials, I have this uh, spreadsheet which has my calculations for future value. So I'm just going to open it. Press open, and then we have to choose the range at, at where it is. And so it's uh, fairly easy. Uh, we just go in here and we just scroll down. In this case, we want the future values, which is column D. Uh, so let me get in here and I'm just going to scroll down. Now you can choose this explicitly or you can highlight it in a little uh, dialog box. You can open up that dialog box to be more visible. And then I'm going to choose insert. And so now what it does is it puts this in, it says read Excel, uh, and it reads the data from the range that you've chosen. And so now, of course, we had F already set up to be equals down here, and now it takes on its new value based on the read Excel. And so we see that F now is an array of the data that we assigned it using the read Excel function. Uh, it's actually not a function. What is that? That's uh, in the labels. That's one of the system... Uh, um, uh, variables. Uh, and, and so, of course, we already had our plot set up to do that. So we have f at i, we have a range variable for i, 1 to 25, and now we're seeing this plot of the data. So all made possible by this one uh, read Excel capability that you can use to bring data into and assign it to an array within uh, MathCAD. So uh, that's it. That's a really simple one. Hopefully that was useful to you uh, and you can make something uh, out of it. Uh, and uh, we'll see you on the next little tutorial when we get there.